Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome to Posy Lane. If you're brand new here at Posy Lane, we like to do fun, easy, doable crafts. If you're returning, I'm so glad you're back and I can't wait to craft with you again this week. Today we're gonna make a couple patriotic crafts. And of course they're gonna be red, white, and blue because I think that is so adorable. They will look really cute in your home. You can see a couple of the crafts that we made last week behind me and I had so much fun making those patriotic crafts that I wanted to make some more this week. We're gonna be making a sign out of this really cute Dollar Tree tray and then we're we're also going to be making an arrangement that's going to be a little bit different. Instead of flowers or candy, we're actually going to be using paper straw and vinyl from the Dollar Tree. I was looking for inspiration for the different crafts I wanted to make. Whenever I need inspiration, a lot of times I just go to my local Dollar Tree and look around to see what they have up and down all the different seasonal aisles. And when I was there, I saw this tray and I saw like, I guess this is where the handle would be. I saw these stars and I knew immediately I had to do something patriotic with that. And then I also saw like some paper straws at the store and I thought they were adorable and I wasn't sure exactly even what to do with them, but I grabbed them and I have a really cute centerpiece that's gonna involve those paper straws. We're gonna be making a patriotic centerpiece. And I mentioned earlier that I had found these really cute straws at the Dollar Tree and didn't know exactly what to do with them. And when I saw them, I was like, what if we made these into like little stems and did something on the top so it would look like an arrangement? I thought like, what if we did fun 4th of July type shapes and cut them out and made our own stickers out of this vinyl paper. I've used it in several videos now and it's so easy because it, you all you have to do is trace out a shape and it's customizable. You can make almost anything with it, just limited to what colors are available. And so we're gonna make some really cute 4th of July like red, white, and blue shapes with it. For the 4th of July shapes, I just went on to Google and looked for images and copy and pasted them onto a Word document. I have a popsicle, a star, and then a rocket. And if you notice for the rocket, I have two of them because I need one to kind of cut out the different details. I'm gonna show you how to make each of the shapes step by step. And for the popsicle, you need a back and front, and I just used white cardstock to get the overall shape and traced it with this stencil. I want it to have a red, white, and blue, so I took like the top third and traced the red and then the bottom third I traced with blue and if you can see I have the overall shape from the popsicle leaving some white in the middle. I have the red and blue vinyl cut out now and I think you can kind of see what it's going to look like better and we're just going to stick it on and cut it out. trace the star onto the vinyl. You don't even need to trace it on the cardstock. And once we stick it to the cardstock, it'll be ready to cut out. There's three simple steps for the rocket. Notice I have two different sets of rocket stencils and the first one is just the basic shape that I traced onto the cardstock. And then the other one I cut up for details. So you have this kind of triangle for the top that I did in red and then you have these two stripes that I traced in blue. the popsicle to look like a double popsicle so I broke a popsicle stick in half and then hot glued it onto one of the sides of the popsicle and then I just attached the popsicle making sure to cover up the skewer at the top. For the 
rocket. I just want it to look like it has a fuse on it, so I'm just gonna attach a little bit of jute twine to the bottom of one of the sides. We're gonna be building our arrangement in a mason jar, and I have blue tissue paper here that I'm gonna stick down in it like you would for a gift bag, and I have red, white, and blue to make three different arrangements. The skewers are just a little bit too long, so I'm just gonna trim a little bit off of the ends with these wire cutters. Now that I have these trimmed down, I'm gonna stick them into the tissue paper, and what's great is this tissue paper will help them not move around. After I was done assembling this, I realized that the camera angle wasn't quite right for you to see the whole entire arrangement. And this one I did in blue, and I thought it would be really fun to have like red, white, and blue so that it'd make a really big statement for a centerpiece. With the red one, I just switched up the colors. If you notice, I did a blue star instead of a red star, and then my rocket has like blue on the top and then red for the stripes, just to kind of change things up. But I assembled them and built them the same way as this one. We're making a sign with this tray. And originally I was looking at the tray and trying to think of what to do with it. And then I was like, what do I just put it on the side? It will stand up perfectly like this. I can do like a shadow box in it. And so I found some really cute paper that I'm gonna put on the, I guess it's kind of like the bottom of the tray. And I went trying to think of something else to put on top of that. And I found these really cute stars at Hobby Lobby. They come in a huge pack. But what's crazy is this almost looks like it was punched out of the side of the tray, which how perfect is that since we have raw wood I got some patriotic paint to paint it with and I have this really pretty deep navy blue and red and then we'll also paint it white. With the tray I want to paint the outside white and then this inside rim blue. We're not going to see this so I don't have to worry about any paint getting over here. I think the easiest thing would be to just start painting the outside white. I realized that this star has like a little ledge to it, if you can kind of see, or rim. So I'm just making sure to paint that too so that it's the only thing not left like a natural color. Now that I've gotten all of the outside painted, I'm going to let it dry before I paint the inside. The pack of raw wood stars from Hobby Lobby actually came with three different sizes. I thought it would be perfect to do red, white, and blue. So one color on each star and stack them. The white is dry I'm gonna go in on the sides and paint them all blue and because this is not going to be shown it's okay if we get some paint on there but I am planning to use a smaller brush for maybe some of the corners because I think this foam brush may be a little harder to get in some of those nooks and crannies stars have dried now and I'm going to stack them and just use a little dab of hot glue on the back so they'll stick together. tray is all dry now. Because I'm going to be doing the paper on the inside, I needed to know what size the bottom of the tray was. So I just cut out some cardstock and made a template so I'll know what to cut this. And I'm just gonna use my paper cutter to cut it out. paper cut out to the correct size, I'm just going to use glue dots to attach it to the back. The last step is just to add this little trio of stars to the middle and I think that the glue dots will do the trick to stick it to the paper too. The 
this sign is so adorable. I've mentioned this in other videos if you've watched them, but I like having small signs that I can switch out on different shelves. And so I'll have like a little place where I switch a shelf out for different seasons and I already know where I wanna put this one. And I think this blue that I painted on the inside is one of my new favorite colors. It's called like Deep Navy. I found it at Walmart if you're looking for it, but it's so beautiful and I think it looks so patriotic. This arrangement, it is so adorable, all these different colors. And it's amazing what you can do with like paper straws, tissue paper, cardstock, and some vinyl. It looks so adorable and I can't wait to stick it out. Thank you guys so much for joining me this week. I had so much fun crafting with you and I can't wait for you to come back next week. Thank you.